Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove your dog's tear stains. But before we get into this video, I'm gonna hit you guys with some knowledge so you guys know what it is, how to prevent it, and how often you should be cleaning your dog's face. Okay, let's get this. So what are tear stains? Tear stains is best described as this dark reddish and brownish discoloration around your dog's face. It's usually caused by excessive tear production. In our case, it's like Balenci. Breeds like French Bulldogs, Toy Poodles, Shih Tzus, and even Cocker Spaniels are more prone to tear stains than others. And I already know what you're thinking. But Peter, what causes tear stains? Don't worry, I got you. That's why you're here. That's why you're watching this video. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Well, usually it's caused by iron containing molecules, waste products of red blood cells in dogs. Other common causes can include ingrown hairs, eyelashes, allergies, shallow eye sockets, blocked tear draining holes, could be also bacterial, poor diet, and sometimes even stress could bring it on, but I'm not really too sure about that one. How can we prevent it? I'm not gonna lie to you, this has a lot to do with good hygiene, and this includes washing their face daily and cleaning their folds. So a while back, I did actually do a video on how to clean your French Bulldog's folds, so you can go check that video out after you watch this video. Don't, don't click off, don't, you know, just watch this till the end, and then go watch it. A lot of people say using a ceramic bowl and a stainless steel bowl, using filtered water, non-filtered water, distilled water, Fiji water, all of this stuff is gonna help you reduce the amount of tear stains or even get rid of them. And I'll be honest with you, I've used both and it hasn't helped me at all. But I still continue to give them filtered water because you know, they're bougie dogs and you know, they must have the best of everything. So personally, I just think that's a myth, but I thought I'd let you guys know. I don't know, give it a shot. Maybe it'll work for you. Didn't work for them. Now, there are some over-the-counter stuff that you can use. I wouldn't suggest using anything that is gonna be harmful for your dog. Let's use common sense here. Obviously, if it's not good for your dog, it's gonna harm them. We don't wanna use it. Now there are some over-the-counter tear stain remover products out there and wipes that you can use. One product out there that has worked the best on my dogs. Right, Philly? Big stretch. You can't let your dogs do a stretch without saying big stretch, big stretch. I'll talk more about that product in a minute. All right, so let's talk about how are we gonna prevent this from spreading all over their faces and making them look all freaking wild and weird and gnarly. You got some tear stains here too, bud. Are you awake? Come, good. Oh, yes, you want to be a part of the video. Okay, you want to help me do my next point? Okay, first, you never want to use any kind of corticosteroid or any antibiotics without talking to your vet. So you guys want to avoid using any kind of human grade products that could potentially, excuse me, can you stop that? That could potentially hurt your dogs. I lost train of thought. <laughs> Things like hydrogen peroxide or even bleach. I can't believe I actually have to remind people of that. These guys have destroyed every toy that they own in one day and it's you. Maybe we need to find a dog toy that is indestructible, that you cannot tear apart. So tear stains could be a lifelong condition that requires maintenance. Now, it doesn't affect your dog's vision or their quality of life or anything like that. It's more of a cosmetic thing. Some people, they just want their dogs to have no tear stains. Finally, let's talk about how often you should be cleaning your dog's face to reduce the tear stains. Ideally, you want to be cleaning their face every day. Before bed, first thing in the morning, middle of the day, whatever works for you, but ideally you want to be wiping down their face every day. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my dog's face. <laughs> Do you want your face cleaned? I might as well use you. How about we clean the puppies and yours? Okay, we're gonna show you how to clean their faces and their folds and Hopefully you guys could see me. I got a few things over here. I got just like a container of warm water, a very soft towel uh, to wipe their face. And then the product that I use is called Wrinkle Paste by a company called Squishy Face. Okay, so who wants to go first? Okay, hi. This is Dolce over here and we'll try to get her to face the camera. Can you face the camera? She's about 18 weeks. She's obviously not trained. We're trying to find her home. It's okay, she's here right now. So, 
what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe down her face and it's, uh, this is a, she's a good example because, can you move, can you get down? Because she is a lilac platinum and her tear stains came really, really heavy. As you're doing this, you will notice that, like at least on here, and I'll show you guys in a minute, that there's a lot of like dirt coming off. Nice warm water. So once you have them, their face all cleaned up, now what you wanna do is you wanna get some of this stuff. And you gotta do this every day. You really wanna get this like really into the hair, down to the skin not just on the surface, because that's when you're really gonna see the results. See, you're all done. You're all done. You did good, yeah. Okay, good, you're out of here. All right, that's it for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if this video helped you remove the tear stains from your dog's face. And if you're not already subscribed, then please, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this channel. And if you like this video, then you're most likely gonna like my other videos, so go check them out. They're awesome. I haven't uploaded in a while, but hey, this is number two in one week, so gotta give me some credit. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, we ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste.